Bald, scarred, and strong. That's how Ellie Mayday describes herself, unflinching about her curves and her cancer. No Photoshop, no insecurities, just me. The 27-year-old plus-size model lives in New York, but has returned home to share how knowing and loving her body helped save her from ovarian cancer. I don't ho hold any grudges against, uh, you know, the doctors that dismissed it, but you do have to be your own advocate for, the, for this disease, especially. Born in a small town in Saskatchewan, she moved to Vancouver in her 20s to become Ellie Mayday, pinup model and internet sensation. I think the stigma around plus size really needs to be broken. A waitress and flight attendant by day, in 2013, Mayday was suffering from lower back pain, stomach cramps and bloating. Because of her age, doctors never considered ovarian cancer. There's no screening test, there's no early screening test. Um, unlike the pap test, there's nothing that they can do. So it's really difficult to diagnose. Some doctors even blamed her symptoms on her weight. It's unfortunate that they said, oh, maybe you should lose some weight, tone your core, and you'll be okay. She wasn't. I didn't expect to be given cancer at 25. And, uh, like, your whole world just flips upside down. Mayday shared her journey publicly, three months of chemotherapy and a full hysterectomy. Once I actually went through surgical menopause, you go through all the signs and, you know, you have the hot flashes and the night sweats and, you know, the complete meltdowns that are random and unexpected and um, those are difficult to share. She lost 60 pounds. Once again, she was body shamed, this time by fans who felt betrayed by her thin figure. I had people say, I can't follow you anymore. You're, what, you're losing weight now that you're getting more popular. Not understanding really what cancer does to you. Now cancer-free, the model is trying to empower others. People have to be aware of their own bodies and their symptoms and what's not normal. Her message, no matter what size your body or how it looks, don't ignore how it feels. Please take your health seriously and find the doctors who do the same. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.